There's no point in talking about Linux if I can't edit my videos and record in Linux. I would say the Windows counterpart would be Sony Vegas Pro, and that's saying a lot. Kaden live. Hi, 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 hi. Good. Hello everybody, this is a little bit of a pondscape.us experiment in gardening. Now, one thing that's amazing, these twigs, um, they were cut off of a tree last fall. We've had a really harsh winter. Not only have they survived, despite the fact that there's no root structure, but if you take a close look, you'll see that they are forming buds. Um, they want to grow leaves out. You can see that all these ends are budding. So, doing a little bit of a, a so for, if you want to make a, a slang term, a little backyard genetics experiment. Um, making it so that I have as many points that are exposed. See the green there? You can see the points that are exposed. And stick this into the ground. And um, with any luck, it'll root. I'm doing it with a bunch of these. And a part of my inspiration for doing this at all is um, prior to the next door fence idiot that built this too cut me off of uh, all this lovely land here that I had my garden on because she's just a jealous twit. Anyway, um, there was a tree back there and um, a part of the, the tree um, touched the ground and we were dumping dirt and um, we, we dumped it on top of this piece and it actually started growing as an independent tree and I clipped it and it lived and that tree is currently up front there. I'll get to that in a moment. But what I'm doing is I'm taking these branches. I'm just sticking them into the ground as deep as I can with those exposed points. There's one over there. I've got other living trees growing around side of, alongside of it too. Well, not to say that these aren't living, but shall I say established root structures. I've got this going here. Over there. I've got these all throughout. Um... This one I'm going to stick right here, um, so you can see what I'm doing. Um, I'm just sticking that straight in as far as I can manage without breaking it. Well, without breaking it too much. <laughs> Apparently I broke off a part of this little piece here. Nah, just leave it on. Maybe it'll fix itself. But, um... Yeah. I'm putting them all this way. And, um... One of two things will happen. Either they'll establish root structures out of those pieces that I carved off the bottom that are in the ground. Or they'll die. <laughs> if they don't. And, um, if they die, no harm, no foul. Because, um... The, the massive amounts of vines that are going to be growing in here... And we're going to be putting up a trellis all around this way, across over the top to handle the different types of vines that we're going to have here. Um, morning glory vines, trumpet vines, and some different nice shapes of ivy and things like that. It's going to be real pretty. It's going to be like a, a nice like arboretum cover thingy here. But um, if these trees survive, then that'll be awesome. It'll basically continue our tree line. You can see our tree line going all the way back that way. It'll continue this forward with the eventual goal of going straight out to the front because the property line comes like right there and goes forward. So all this on this side is still our property, so we can do that. <clears throat> and this is the public parkway. The garden is coming up here real nice. We're going to be adding to it, of course. And um, this right here is the, the tree that I'm talking about. Um... As you can see how at the bottom it's kind of curved and and just kind of weird. It's not it's not growing straight. It's just growing on this weird angle down into the dirt. And that's because 
at the top of this a long time ago. Um, see this piece right here, how it's dead? It's just a dead piece. I'm grabbing it there. Well, that was actually a branch coming off connected to a full tree. Like I said, it touched the ground. It went a lot farther than that, and then dirt got buried over it. And it established its own root structure, and when I clipped it, it became its own independent tree. So I thought that was pretty fucking awesome. So, yeah. Well, we're going we're gonna to test this theory. That's a different type of tree. The ones we're dealing with are maple trees, um, kind of like this one out front here. And maple trees, in case you don't know, um, trying to find a baby one growing in here because we got baby trees growing all over the damn place. Seeds fall like crazy. I'm trying to find a, demonstrate the leaf structure. Okay, here we go. Here's a dead maple tree leaf, so this is a good enough demonstration. Yeah, the leaves look like that instead of, um, instead of like that over there, so. Um, I don't know if it'll work with that species like that, but I don't see why not, seeing as it survives Chicago's nasty, harsh-ass, um, uh, winters just laying there detached all winter with no root structure whatsoever, and this crap's budding, so. Um, if that works... Then the next experiment will be to take branches that are, oh, like eight feet <laughs> uh, long and pile them up and um, see if um, they do the same thing come the next spring. And if they do, plant those. And if those survive, then wow, I've really learned something. And so have you. So that's all for now.